This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. Hey, you know how they say you gotta pay attention to the signs, right? Seem like lately my spirit been telling me just lay low, be patient, you feel me? Just sit back, observe, take nothing personal. But at the same time, take everything for what it is. I'm Shooting happened yesterday morning on Melrose Street. Shreveport police say the altercation happened when 21-year-old Shamichael Jones was asked by his stepfather to help with cleaning the dishes. We we're told Jones refused and then allegedly shot his stepfather in the leg with a shotgun. The stepfather was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Jones was arrested and charged with second-degree aggravated battery. Here's the thing. When you sign up to be a stepdad, understand something. That have more disadvantages than advantages. Now, I don't really believe in being a stepdad. I don't believe in taking care of another man's child. That's just me. But of course, if y'all dude fall in love with some good pussy and y'all willing to take care of her kids as well, do y'all thing. Cool. But if you raising another man's child, especially a young boy, when that young man reach the age of 12, 13, he is going to start finding himself and he's not going to respect you at all. Two alpha males can't live in the same house. So what I'm trying to say is the fact that he had this, this man in his house at the age of 21 still is like, bro, what you doing? When that young man reach 18, he got to get out. And if his mom have an issue, she got to go too. Ooh, but don't take care of no grown ass man. Nah, this is just crazy. This is a very sad situation right here. But fellas, understand, don't matter how much you try to be daddy to another man's child, he will never respect you as his father. Don't matter how much you love that other man's child, that child will never love you the same. Y'all gotta understand that. This man got shot for telling dude to wash the dishes. After he give that kid a place to stay, took care of him, he fed him, he put clothes on his back, and this is the thanks he got. Sad situation, man. Wow. Rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. Looks like I'm uh, motherfucking 10. How? How you all saying? How, like, Good for you. I'm a 10. Good I'm good fat, but I'm Looks a 10. Wise, I'm probably like a 6. Personality wise, 10. Oh, I'm going to go low. I'll go 2. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's not about looks. If, I, if I'm 2, we're all going to be ugly when we grow up. It's personality, baby. We're all going to be ugly when we grow up. How much would you rate her? 10. Be honest. 10. Oh, 10. Oh, she gave herself a 10. I'll give her a 10. 10, her 10, 10 for the confidence. 10 for the confidence. How much would you rate these gents? Yeah. How much would you rate us? You're a 10. Oh. You're a 10. You seem like a sweetheart. You seem like a 9. Right, I'll take it. <laughs> okay? I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, I already gave myself a 2. I'll, give myself, I'll take a 9. <laughs> yeah, you, know you know what that is? That's plus 7. Yeah, hey. That's plus 7. That's there fucking. Go. That's good. Take right? me home. Cause bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so so she just said that she was a ten out of right, ten. Right. I I'm not I'm not. If, we're being, if we're being honest, she wasn't a ten. I was just being nice. If we're being honest, I'm happy for her. Um, she was probably like a three. <laughs> I wanted to go home to somebody, so I had called my ex. But then I bumped into another ex in the club. So I dubbed the other ex and I went with the current ex that was in the club. Right. So I already had the other appointment set up though. So he's like, you know, once, now he calling me like, yo, why she not answering the phone? So he, he popped up to my crib and I'm like, oh. hmm. he crawled through the window. And now this is a 250 pound man. So he came through the first floor. I'm in the second floor. That was where my room was. And I'm just laying down, and then he just popped up with a whole gun in my face. Like it was, yeah, it was, what? it was scary. It got crazy. Were you naked? Not an ex. This is I don't ex. remember. I might have been. I'm usually naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they were both exes. Okay. I wasn't with nobody technically, so it was like. What did the other ex do? Oh, he was stressed. He he was like, it's her fault. <laughs> I swear to God, no, kill her. He said, Yo, <laughs> I didn't do nothing. It was her fault. Swear to God. If I was an ex in the bed, I would have. I'm not with her no more. Do, don't call me. I don't even want no late night nothing. Let's, with you. We don't laugh you about it. Me. We laugh about it now. Like at Yo. the moment, it was like, I'm about to die. Like.
You never, he's popping up with a gun. You don't know what the man might do, but now we laugh about it. R.I.P. to Trouble and all the other men who lost their lives in situations like this. Some of these women will play these type of dangerous games and think it's funny. Like she's sitting there laughing. She almost had an innocent man killed because of her. And she's sitting there laughing like it's funny. Fellas, this is the chance y'all take when y'all deal with these type of low energy, low hanging fruit type of women. Understand that when a woman is vibrating very low, she will put you in these type of dangerous situations situations and she gonna think it's funny these type of women right here are usually evil and what's so crazy i've been in a situation like this before where i was at a chick crib and her baby father popped up even though she told me nah me and him we've been broke up i learned from that situation the fact that i made it out alive i told myself i can't put myself back in a situation like this now i wouldn't advise any dude to go over by a chick house that he barely knows never get that comfortable with these women fellas don't trust these women fellas and if you do happen to so go over to a chick crib that you barely know man even if you take your safety with you even if you bring your just in case understand this you never know when her boyfriend her side dude could pop up because they could pop up while you in the pussy right when you about to come and you try to pull out and you can't even get your you know what i'm saying it's too late so that's why it's best to not even put yourself in that situation fellas you know what i'm saying but the bottom line is man i know a lot of men who passed away from situations like this but let's be careful fellas this is a real thing like she's sitting there laughing understand like women like this are extremely evil they want to see the demise of men she put that play together because she made those men feel that comfortable especially the dude who climbed through the window she made him feel comfortable where he probably felt like he was the only nigga that she's fucking that's why he felt the need to do that because he's probably paying her rent he's probably paying her bills you don't don't know but man don't play that shit you know what i'm saying because if a dude is paying her bills and shit like that he's gonna feel obligated he's gonna feel entitled while she's telling the other dude oh i'm single i ain't got nothing going on these are the games these women be playing fellas be careful out here man it's real this story takes us to tuscaloosa alabama beautiful jamia harris was a joy to be around love to be silly and joke around with friends and family she was from Birmingham, Alabama and was a mother to a young son who was her entire world. She had a heart of gold. She was a mother, a daughter, a granddaughter, and so many people loved her. She was described as a humble soul, and she was always happy. Jamia loved her family and would spend time with them whenever she had the chance. Jamia had a cousin who attended the University of Alabama and thought that it would be a good idea to spend time with her cousin for the weekend. According to Jamia's mother, she wasn't known for being a party girl, she just wanted to spend time with her family, so she decided to go enjoy the weekend with her cousin, and she took her boyfriend along with her. They all decided to go to the club, and it was after a trip back from the club, where Jamia's life would take a tragic turn for the worse. Jamia and her boyfriend along with other friends and the cousin, all stopped on the way home to grab something to eat. Jamia's cousin reported that while they were sitting in their car waiting for their food, reportedly, Darius approached their vehicle and was trying to flirt with Jamia. She said the guys were dancing around the car trying to get their attention, and they told the guys they have a boyfriend, and they didn't want to talk. The guys were unaware that Jamia's boyfriend was actually sitting in the vehicle. According to Jamia's mother, the guys kept going on and on, and eventually Jamia's boyfriend who was sitting in the back seat, rolled down the window and said, she already told you she got a boyfriend, you need to leave. One of the suspects repeatedly said, you don't know who I am, you don't know what I do, I smack people. It is unclear which one of the guys said what. Jamia's boyfriend told the other group of people with them, that it was time to leave. He didn't feel comfortable, something might happen. He was like, let's get out of here. They were still waiting for their food, so they didn't leave immediately. Jamia's mother reported that it was then that Jamia and the others got intentionally blocked in from leaving, and one of the suspects approached the car with a gun. Allegedly, the suspects started shooting erratically, with bullets going everywhere. It was said that he was running away shooting backwards at the car. That's when the bullet struck Jamia. Jamia's boyfriend returned fire striking one of the suspects, and he was able to maneuver the car away from the scene, and drove until he saw a police car, which was at the Walk of Champions. That's when the police officer noticed Jamia Harris was deceased inside the car. 
the driver, told police that their vehicle had been struck by gunfire. The driver said he had returned fire in self-defense and may have struck a suspect. Tuscaloosa Police and University of Alabama Police were called to the Walk of Champions at Bryant-Denny Stadium around 1.45 a.m. on Sunday in connection to a shooting. Investigators discovered surveillance footage of the deadly shooting and spoke to witnesses that identify Michael as the shooter. One of the two guys visited a hospital in the area with non-life-threatening injuries. That's when investigators connected him to the shooting. The males were later identified as 21-year-old Darius Miles, a University of Alabama basketball player, and 20-year-old Michael Lynn Davis, who did not attend school. Allegedly, Darius provided the gun to Michael right before the shooting. Darius and Michael were both arrested and held without bond. Miles appeared to be crying during a perp walk and said, I love you, and I love you more than you can imagine several times to his mother, who was standing outside the Tuscaloosa County Jail. Darius and Miles both face capital murder charges. First and foremost, RIP to this young lady who lost her life because these goofies couldn't accept rejection. A lot of times, uh, men let their egos get the best of them. Look, it's okay for a chick to reject you, man. Just because you're a promising basketball player, don't let that go to your head, fam. And then make it even worse, you're hanging with a dude who's not even in school, so you're all up to no good. So that's just bad energy right there and then so you're mining right but you think you that so then this chick rejected you and you couldn't accept rejection sad situation fellas as a man it's your job to learn how to control your emotions if you can't control your emotions that's a mental illness and you gotta go seek help you gotta go talk to somebody if you just lash out and do stupid things like this dog you need help and i know like a lot of men have ego issues that's a mental illness that's a fact if a man can't control his emotions if he can't accept rejection from a woman get some help man that's just that's just what it is but don't go out like this dude don't crash out over your ego this is sad right here man and that's why i tell dudes all the time yo dog self-improve focus on yourself meditate understand who you are and focus on your purpose once you move away from those things your mind become idle when your mind become idle you start hanging with idle niggas and before you know it, you're going to end up in some stupid shit like this that will cause you to crash out. This is why I tell us all the time over here, man. Self-improve. Protect your mind. Protect your peace. Protect your energy. When you don't do that, stupid things like this happen. Sad situation, man. But RIP to this young lady. Sad, sad, sad situation, man. Uh, please leave your thoughts in the comments. It's your boy AQ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.